Good morning. Hi, Difa. Oh, okay. Gentle baby. Yeah. These guys are gonna go to boarding. Yeah. Aren't you, Delilah? You're gonna go to boarding. You're gonna get picked up in two hours and we won't see you for three weeks. Difa, go to mommy. Come here, Dif. Hello, good mommy. Oh, she was a play with you. I kidnapped you. I kidnapped just one. No. Delilah. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Wow. Oh, I need the back Wait, Delilah? Wait, Difa? Go, attack mommy. Attack mommy, up, up, mommy. No. Attack mommy, attack mommy. No. Diva, up, mommy. Diva, go attack. Go, 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 go. Up, 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 up. Boom. Oh my gosh, what a tall lady. What a tall lady. Okay, we'll do. Oh my god. <laughs> Are you whining? Why are you whining for Mr. Diva first? I want the gentlest bite, Diva. Nice, good girl. Nice, good girl. Okay, Delilah. Let's practice your gentle. Gentle. Yes, good girl. She loves cheese, can you tell? Okay, gentle. She loves food, she's so fry. Gentle. Ah, gentle. Yes, good girls. Ooh, yummy. Yoga cheese, yum, yum. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Now we're starting out this video or this vlog at home with no dogs, waiting for Kim and her partner Ryan to come over so we can show them around the house because we are all packed up. I'm gonna show you. Uh, there you can see suitcase there, suitcase there. We are all packed up and we are ready to go on our first flight to the UK in, what is it? Two and a half years, I think? We Two and a half years, what a long time. I am feeling anxious because it's been a while since we've been on a long haul flight. We have an eight hour layover in, where is it, in Doha? Doha. And I don't wanna forget anything. Yeah, so Lou's doing some last minute packing right now. I think I've got everything that I need to get. Like you I started- phone charges and stuff? Oh, actually no, I haven't got that one yet. So. This is the start of our journey to go and surprise Lou's mom. Um, yesterday, Lou was on a call with um, his mom and uh, her partner. And then halfway through the conversation, he says, he says, oh, I can't decide if I'm going to bring the tennis bag. And I'm out here, right? And I'm packing. And I'm like, what did he just say? And then he repeats it again. He says it twice. He's like, oh, I really can't decide if I need to bring my tennis bag or not. And everybody on the phone was like quiet. And then he realized because I walked into the room and I was like, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> like whispering, right? And then he realized that he said the wrong thing. And then instead of trying to cover it up or like trying to find an excuse for why he said what he said, he just started laughing. And I'm like, what are you doing? He almost spoiled it. And then his part, uh, his mom's partner like messaged us in our group chat because he's been helping us with a surprise. He messaged after that and he was like, did you hear? <laughs> like Louis almost spoiled the whole thing. And I'm like, yeah, I know. I was right outside. Oh my gosh. Thank goodness she didn't really get it. Like she didn't understand. Because after that he said something about like deciding to buy a new tennis bag or something stupid like that, but didn't really elaborate. So <laughs> I don't know if she... If she bought it or if she's suspicious, hopefully for another couple of hours, she's gonna be okay uh, and not suspect anything. So it's a seven-ish hour flight to Doha. Then we've got a seven hour layover and then another seven or eight hours to Heathrow. And then from there, we will drive. From Heathrow, which is a long ass drive. Which is a long drive. How long is it gonna be? I don't know, maybe an hour and 45 minutes. Yeah. Depends on the traffic. If there's traffic, it could be, uh, it could be a bitch. And if there's road work, it could be a bitch. Okay, so fingers yeah. crossed. Well, for the first leg of the flight, we're not sat next to each other because apparently the plane's like full. Um, but we'll show you obviously the whole trip and um, what the flight is gonna be like. And I might do like a little TikTok thing about like the food on the plane. Cause I love airplane food. Love it. I used to be obsessed. Like if it comes in a little bento thing, even better. I don't know what it is about that. Like in normal circumstances, if somebody gave me a bento box right now, I'd be like, eh. But on a plane, 
I'm like, yes, yes, yes. Kim and Ryan are gonna be staying over. This was very last minute. They're coming here, staying over to look after the cats, but also to house it. I'll show you um, here. Have a look at Doji right now, attacking something. Doji, what are you doing? And you can see Deco, he's under there. That's like his spot now. He always goes underneath and we'll just sit there. Oh, hello Doji. Hi Doji. Why is she staring like that? Difa and Delilah got picked up this morning at like 10. Oh my gosh, I missed them already. Ethan sent us a video. Apparently they're like terrorizing his, one of his own dogs. So it's cute cause like he has daycare. So Difa and Delilah will have someone to play with in the afternoon. Like a bunch of dogs, like at least like 10 or 15 dogs. At nighttime, at least they'll have each other, which is cute. Three weeks is a long time. Hopefully they're gonna be okay. I think they will. I'm gonna miss them. I miss their smell already. Oh, I'm gonna insert this other clip here of Delilah trying to get into the suitcase. All my other friends don't have dogs or cats because they had them growing up. No, I didn't want the hamster. I remember you and Ria bought the hamster home and I wanted no pie. So freaking cute. All right, so we're just gonna wait for Kim and then I will probably see you guys next at the airport. Nice lady. Number one, I love yeah, <laughs> Oh no! What are you taking, sir? Uh, Qatar? Qatar Airways. Yeah. Yes, please. Oh my god. Hello, we are at the airport right now. Say yo, hi, yo, Lulu. Yo, 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 yo. Okay, so we've made it past um, the initial security check. We're now in transit and we're gonna head up to the Qatar lounge if we can find it. Not here. No, the next one down, I think. Yeah. The Qatar Lounge, I don't think it's ever been open here. We've been, been flying, we've been flying, what, since like 2018 and not once have we ever seen it open. Yeah, so hopefully, fingers crossed. You know what, it's like 12 midnight now and it's kind of busy in the airport, don't I you think? I think it's dead. You think it's quiet? Yeah, look at all the shops. I think considering things have just started opening up, it is kind of busy. Yeah, okay, fair, fair, fair. You know what I mean? No, I get you. We'll look for the lounge and probably eat some food and then I can carry on watching Sam's stream. Oh my god, yeah, you can. I'm gonna try and get some work done, I think. I still have to edit my video. <laughs> Did we follow the signs, right? Yeah, just look right. Okay, because I wasn't looking. All right, let's go. Is this an actual Qatar lounge, though? That's the, oh, that's yeah. the question. It looks like it's closed. It's closed. It's closed. It's closed. You look so defeated, you look so sad. I'm so sad, it's closed. It is, it's actually closed. Josh asked me to get him a fridge magnet, so I need to get him a fridge magnet, and I look like a quite a fine one. This one? What is, what is that? It's like the Merlin lion. Merlion. Merlion. I'll get the tackiest one I can find. Yes, get the tackiest one. That's how, ta fridge the tackiest. magnets need to be tacky. I'll get one for my mum. Oh, cute. What are you getting? Apple juice and orange juice, because I've been craving a bit Oh of my sea. gosh. Thank you. Ready? Mm -hmm. These lights are not flattering. Mm. So I've been having a bit of a nagging back pain, like a lower back pain, since the start of um, this morning. So I'm going to take some really intense muscle relaxers and painkillers and hopefully I'll be fine on the flight. But I also brought my little roadie ball. Let me see if I can find it. This thing is a lifesaver. So any chance I get, I'm just gonna put this up against a wall and then just massage the shit out of my back. It helps. Not gonna be sad together on this flight. Sad times. So this is my little booth over here. And I'm sat here 
and Lou. It's just in that corner there. Lou. Alright, voiceover time because it was so loud on the plane. So as we took off, I had a cup of tea and some biscuits and watched Marry Me starring Jennifer Lopez and Owen Wilson. It was honestly such a weird show, but I loved it. I got hooked. I watched the whole thing. Um, then I had a cheese plate. I love cheese. So I was like, yep. When I saw it on the menu, I was like, give me that. I want that in my mouth. Um, and yeah, so here's me just trying to take some like artistic shots of the cheese. Um, okay. Now I'm showing you the amenities kit. I love the amenities kit on Qatar. They have cool stuff and uh, these ones were all from Diptyque. So you had a face lotion, body lotion, lip balm, which was unreal. And then this one here is the perfume. And this was after I slept. Um, I just woke up and I was trying to like freshen myself. So I used the amenities kit. I had a really good sleep on the plane. I think maybe about a good four or five hours straight um and yeah it was a pretty good flight this lip balm though is my absolute favorite i stole a bunch more extra and just have been using them since um the trip and then here i'm just showing you that the sun is out sky looks beautiful and here we are in doha oh my gosh this is like the, your dream they don't have the marvelous creation though i know we're about to be in the yachts and shit yeah but i feel like I love fruit and nut, you know, this one's my favorite. There's a lot of diamonds here. Yeah, cute. Oh, your heroes! Look! Oh my god, is that Milka? So Milka was the first one that I ever had, right, that had diamonds in. It's yeah, isn't Milka Swiss? I used to have this as a kid. Yeah, it's Swiss. Okay, let's go find the wire. Hi, we've landed in Doha, and we've got now about a six hour layover. Um, because the flight, the first flight was a little bit delayed, which is in our favor actually. So now we just went to grab these because I forgot the charging cable for the camera. Right, this way, and then we're gonna head over to. Let's go to the lounge. And then we're gonna, now we're gonna head over to the lounge. You okay there, Lou? Yep, just making sure everything's nice and organized. Okay. Alright. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. So we've come to the sandwich bar and ordered ourselves sandwiches and also dessert and we're just gonna have this first and then after that we're gonna explore this floor a little bit because the lounge is massive we've been here a few times but have always stayed in the same area of the lounge but the entire floor is actually a lounge so we're gonna go and explore it in a bit maybe I'll try to get some editing done I mean we have six hours here so a lot of time to do a lot of things and there's also a main dining hall that I've never been to before and Louis's never been either so we want to go check that out later but we were speaking to the server and he was like it's way too packed right now because in Doha the time is 6.20 a.m. so it's really busy a lot of people are around um, but he reckons in like an hour or so it's gonna be a bit more calm so we're gonna go check it out then we slept on our first flight did you sleep well? Yes. Yeah, good. Yeah. Yeah, I slept for a little bit as well. So I feel good, but I feel hungry now because I didn't really eat on the plane. I just had like a cheese plate. Did I mention that I was having back pains? Yes, you did. I did, right? <laughs> so Louis was annoyed with me because he thought that like it was all in my head. And he's like, you're making it worse. You were making it worse. Oh, to be fair, I think I was making it worse because whenever I start getting like nervous about my back, if it like hurts a little bit I think my brain makes it 10 times worse because I'm trying to like fix it before it gets worse does that make sense? Mm -hmm. um, so anyway my back was hurting really bad and I was getting like antsy and Louis like just take the arcoxia and just like shut up and take it <laughs> and I did and within an hour it kicked in and I had the best flight ever yes that's for me thank you I will yeah you can just put it here yeah <laughs> thank you thank you guys should I just remove this one yeah that's perfect more space for you yeah thank you you're welcome anyway as I was saying I had the best flight after that. I feel great now, but I'm just trying to like make sure that I'm stretching still and you know not making my back stiff. Um, but yeah, so let me show you the food that we got in this sandwich bar. I got the mozzarella, tomatoes, spicy balsamic on a French baguette. That's mine. 
I also got coffee. Lou got a tiramisu pot and a panna cotta pot, and he also got roast beef on rye. And I'm back. Um, my microphone wasn't on for this bit, and I didn't realize it. But anyway, I'm just trying to tell you guys that I'm here about to take a shower in the lounge area. Um, it's really cute because you have your own mini cubicle where they have everything for you. So you've got shower gels, towels, shampoo, conditioner, everything's already there. You don't have to bring anything, um, including perfumes and all that. And yeah, it's just a nice little area. I will say, though, I had to be rushed out of this uh, because they were about to clean and they were like, get the fuck out, girl. <sighs> Lou and I just took a shower, to not together, but we took a shower at the same time. And I feel so refreshed now. They didn't have a hair dryer. Look at my hair all crazy. You want your phone? You got pockets, right? Because oh, I don't. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to work out the shower heads for the longest time. Oh, it was the easiest thing in the world. No, I in the right pressure. I couldn't find the right pressure. As in the little button you press like, like, like. And no, I was using the top one. Oh, okay, okay. So I'm in my little cabin oh, here. And, um, hi Lulu. Hello. Speaking to Chris, and he's saying that he's worried, or maybe he's paranoid, because she's putting a lot of effort into tidying up the house and everything. Oh my gosh, are you nervous? No. Are you new here? Are you new here? <laughs> we're in the UK. We just landed not too long ago, got our bags. Now we're on the shuttle bus to go get the rental car. You know what? The weather's lovely. The weather is beautiful. The time now is about 15 minutes no, to 7. seven. And it's still sunny outside. You can't really see because of the screen thing here on the window, but it's bright outside. Because it's summertime and I forget that. Like, it's gorgeous. Chris has been updating us. He says that um, Lou's mom still doesn't know. Like, she's so clueless about the whole thing. So hopefully it stays that way for the next hour or so. I'll update you guys when we're in the car. See you in a bit. Okay, so we've got the car. We are driving on the way to the house. It's gonna take about 42 minutes, but we're Which gonna- quick, because I thought it was gonna take like two hours, and it said it's gonna take an hour, so it took an hour of my time. Exactly, but we're gonna make a quick stop as well, because we wanna get some flowers before we go. Yeah, I think we're gonna like Asda or something. And I'm starting to get excited! We're already excited, but like, it's even more exciting now, because we're on the way. Okay. You have to make sure it's recording, because we've done that a few times and it hasn't been recording. It's recording now. Keep my eyes on the road, okay? Yeah, keep your eyes on the road. It's recording now. Um, when was the last time we were in the UK? So, technically, February 2020. Yeah. Can you see? Was the last time, yeah, yeah, I can. Was the last time we were in the UK. So it's been over, it's, it's like two and a half years now. It's now yeah. May 2022. Okay. My mom doesn't fucking realize she's gonna lose her shit. It, we're 14 minutes away. I know, which is nothing. Like, I don't even need, I haven't looked at my map for once. Yeah. So I know it now. Yeah. But also, look how gorgeous it is out. Look at that. Oh, you just. I'm cleaning it for you so you get, okay. a, better, you get a better view. Like, look how pretty. The UK in summertime is the best fucking country in the world. Well, any European country in summertime. Any European country. We're just, country, we're just slightly better. We drink better than everyone else. Uh, we, know how to good, we know how to have a better time. Okay, okay. Chris goes, she's in bed now, so she won't know what's going on anyway. Let me know when you're here and I'll open the door for you. All right, thank you. Okay, perfect. Okay, so we're here. As soon as we get off the car, we're not gonna speak anymore. We're just gonna go into the house and get a surprise. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, let's go. Thank you. 